It is time for the sixth developer beta of iOS 16. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. And Apple has in fact released the sixth developer beta of iOS 16. The public beta will likely follow within the next day or so, assuming there are no big issues with the beta as it rolls out to developers. I'm gonna walk through some of the changes in this video that I've uncovered so far. And if you find anything new that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to let me and everybody else know down below in the comments. So let's go ahead, grab my phone, and dive into this. So in the last beta, the big news was the option to add the battery percentage as a number here in the status bar. Now with that update, you could enable low power mode on your phone and it would automatically turn on the battery percentage in your menu bar. That does not happen with beta six. Now, if you enable low power mode, it'll just turn your battery icon yellow like it did before. It's not going to automatically put that battery percentage there. So if you want to turn on battery percentage, you do have to head into settings and enable that toggle yourself. Okay, this is also a very small change, but when we're editing our lock screens, I'm gonna head over here to a new lock screen and tap the plus button. You'll notice this one here, which just looks like a gradient. This has changed. It is actually, if you would go into it, the kind of floating bubble ones you'd see right here on previous betas. Now it would be under featured, but it'll also show down here under collections, if I scroll over, we just have a gradient one there. And if I go down to the gradient, uh, or the collections here on this one, you can see we have those bubbles. And if we choose this on either of them, yeah, they pretty much look the same. They both have that same effect. You can go between the different colors of the bubbles. So it's effectively the same. They just kind of changed how it's displayed there inside of the editing of the lock screen, which I'm not sure why, because it makes more sense to show the floating little bubbles. So you kind of understand what you're looking at. Aside from these admittedly small changes, Apple also has a few known issues plaguing beta users. For example, on iPadOS 16 Beta 6, if you are using an external monitor with your iPad, the pointer will not show on that external display if assistive touch is enabled. If you're using an external monitor, you'll need to turn off assistive touch to make sure your pointer will be viewable on that external display. Inside of the Home app, only the person who created the Home will be able to add Matter accessories. Any other invited users, it'll fail for. And finally, the search field on the emoji lock screen is still missing. All of these will likely be fixed before iOS 16 is released this fall. If I could try to get ahead a little bit of some of the comments I feel like you might see on this video. I know there's not a lot of changes this time around. And some of you may say, why did this video need to exist? The thing is, no changes is still just as important as changes. People want to know that this update is able to be installed, has no catastrophic issues, and Apple is still marching toward its expected September release of iOS 16 and the other operating systems. Just because there's not anything flashy or fun to talk about doesn't mean that people aren't still searching and looking and wanting to know what is or isn't changed in this update. In fact, some things that people keep asking me are not here. For iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 13 mini, there is still no battery percentage displayed in the status bar. You still can't turn it on for those mini phones. The depth effect is also still missing on the lock screen. You cannot use that perspective zoom feature when you're setting photos as your wallpaper, just not available in these betas. So while there's not anything huge and exciting to talk about like we had a week ago, there's still a lot of stuff to talk about. And I think it's important that we still make these videos so people have a solid place to go back to to find out what has changed and not changed beta to beta. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or if you find anything new, let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.